was what up beautiful people now this halloween we're going to be tra- attempting to do a look actually this is my first halloween we have never done any other fa- halloween before and we have a competition between us me and sheila so i'm going to be attempting a look by Encanto. it is a marvel character somehow he is he plays in between a villain and a superhero so he, he, but he's a, he's an egyptian dad and these days i'm kind of interested in in venturing into the egyptian or rather into the african vibe so Encanto is my character and i'm going to try my best to do it this is my first time doing a halloween costume or a halloween look and this is also my first time doing my own makeup well, the other makeup was done to me, so I've never really done any makeup consciously. So I hope that maybe this time I'm going to I'm going to hack it. So I uh, I know that I don't know many of these terminologies. There are foundations. There is a concealer. I think the first thing you need to do is apply on your foundation, and then from there now you do the concealer. I was told that the purpose for it is to hide all the blemishes, maybe even out or the. The, your skin tone, uh, blah blah blah, things like that. So I found something lying around in the house, so I decided to use it. So here we go. You can see me applying the eyeshadow, or I think that's the name, the eyeshadow. So I'm trying to create some contours so that it may look like I'm a haunted, uh, you know, to create that haunted look. And my eye sockets are kind of bulged in, so creating that dead or almost dead kind of vibe. And I think it's working because uh, I think my they are kind of hollowing out. So creating a shadow effect, so that is a very nice thing. Uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying as best to uneven out, so that I don't need it to be perfect because this is a dead, this is a dead character we are playing. Remember. So I'm going to apply some glue or adhesive to hold my tissue paper that will act as my senior cloth, my linen material. That is my material of choice. <laughs> But it did not work because I'm not going to apply adhesive onto my hair. So I kind of used, I kind of cheated and I used a ra- rubber band. Uh, yeah, to hold everything together. I didn't want to use any more TP, I just wanted to concentrate on my face. <laughs> Perhaps something I could have added seeing this now will be to contour my cheeks so that they may kind of seem indented. However, they will be covered by the by the linen, so there is no point of doing it. So uh, there is no need of wasting it. However, this linen is too clean. I think I need to apply some dirt onto it. Yeah, I'm going to dust it. 
Now, Encanto doesn't have any horns. However, I must represent Loki in this. Oh, I love Loki. King of mischief. And I'm mischieving everywhere in this scene. <laughs> Burdened with glorious purpose. However, my horns are not... They are, they are not made of the perfect material, if I may say. Take a look at this young lady. Ooh. Now, that is what you call prosthetic silicon. That material will blend into your skin and no one's business. Well, I kind of used flour and uh, petroleum jelly to hold my horns or to rather to create now my prosthetic uh, enhancers. However, if I had my hands onto that silicon, that would have made a big, big, huge difference. Hopefully next year, we will see that here. But the horns are turning out great. I don't have a problem with it. Now I'm placing the Egyptian ornaments onto my face. I will start with the Ankh, the symbol of life. It's down to my forehead. And the Eye of Horus. Etched onto my eye, the all-seeing eye of Osiris. Beware, young mortals. This is not a night to freak around. Demons and beasts of all shall rise and take dominion. A pharaoh is nothing without his gold and chains. Now don't forget to like, share and subscribe. <laughs> I hope you had a scary, a scary experience. <laughs> and that concludes our video.